So if you guys Bubba Sawyer here getting this unlocked. Bought a Jeep off a guy who's supposed to be bringing it here any second. We'll tell you more about it. And get back at you here when I get my light bar and everything turned on where he can see to pull in. Told him I'd be. Be out here where he could see me to guide him in. Show him where to put it. Because I don't want him to run on anything. They're supposed to be bringing on a flatbed. Uh, I'll tell you more about it here in a second. And in the end, I'll tell you how much I get for it. The guy can get turned around. Because now I got a show him. You know where to put this sucker. Because I don't want it out in the way. So when I work on it. Eh. Right here's good. Got my white parts Jeep. They can pull it over there next to the black vehicle. They should be here any minute. So I don't know if they're going to have a winch or whatever, but I got one. Get my winch remote in. Stuff. Go out here kind of stand and wait on them. We'll get back at you here when they get here. Six Jeep Cherokee 4.0 high output. Not gonna do a whole big segment on this because uh, I'll do that later during the day. But it's here and it's got the front axle, rear axle. I assume the rear is a 825 Chrysler or Chrysler eight and a quarter, and I assume the front is a low pinion Dana 30. But we might be lucky and have a high opinion. But we'll look at that later on. And there'll be a series of putting those axles under this 97 Jade Jeep. And uh, the rear axle in this Jade Jeep is whining real bad. But it's got the disc brake conversion. So it might be able to convert all that over onto this axle maybe. You know, if not, we'll go back to drums if we have to. But yeah, I'm not going to do no interior. Nothing. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because I'm going to save it for the next. And I'm not going to show you the front of it. None of that. But yeah, basically, I uh, guess $600 if I didn't already just say. Just got out of the shower. I'm tired. They brought it, home, brought it to my house. Brought it home to me. Anyway, um... The front and rear axle, I was originally going to give $500. Everybody on the Jeep Forum MXJ garage that I created said, you know, that's not worth that, blah, blah, blah. Well, the guy said, well, what would you give me for the whole Jeep? And I was like, on my way home from work, I said, $500. Duh. Anyway, he said, you know, do $600 and I'll deliver the whole Jeep to you. I said, well, hell. Cause you know, I was gonna have to get up early in the morning, go pull axles, get back to the house by, right, by around 11.30, take a shower, get ready for work. Cause we're having to work on Sunday cause we had something come up and the guy have everybody, but I'm not going into details. Anyway, so yeah, so I got this whole Jeep for $600 and you just see the bits and pieces of them delivering it. So awesome. They put it right where I wanted it. Thought I was going to have to use the winch, but they had a winch on the trailer, which I did not know about. So, awesome, guys. That'll be a segment on this Jeep and plans for it. But I will say, about 99% sure that I will not be making this a running vehicle, but who knows? Maybe, you know, whatever. Anyway, we'll get back at you later on. But here's another XJ for the family and maybe maybe leave me a comment 
on this video let me know what i can name this vehicle or it could just be a nameless crapper just like the white one over here for parts so thanks for watching guys and there'll be more to come on this jeep as we continue so thanks for watching guys and see you next time